Commissioner, in your identification of possible difficult scenarios, you have to ask the uh, choice that there could be a manual counting. The machine cannot print, cannot transmit, whatever. Then we do manual counting. Suppose we have this scenario. In the middle of the electoral process, let's say early in the day, the transmission lines in Mindanao are bombed. How do we transmit? How do we retrieve data to be manually counted if we already have this problem? In this situ in the situation you mentioned, the voting was done. I, I should it's, still ongoing. it's still ongoing. The machine just to clarify, the machine is able to count the balance. It is. In that case, you can print an election return. And the data, if you can't transmit it, you can physically bring it to the municipal or city border canvassers. It's a manual transport already of the results. However, before you bring the data to the municipal or city border canvassers, you have to print out the election returns and finish it. You have to finish the voting process and the counting process. But precisely, the, <coughs> the electoral process has been interrupted in the middle. And then, what will you do if uh, you can be sure that the data can be retrieved? There is no electricity. No, but the machines have a uh, backup life of 12 hours, approximately. Okay. So for that 12 hours, uh, even if there's no electricity, the machine can still work. Thank you. Uh, we will still have an open forum, Commissioner, after this, but uh, we would like to ask the next speaker to make the call. Uh, all right. We will now call on Professor uh, Pablo Manalas Castillo and Professor Rosa Castillo to talk on digital signature and other security issues of the automated election system and the PCOS technology. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Um, ang aming uh, presentation, uh, ang aming analysis is based on months of study uh, of the actual technology that will be used for 2010 elections, which is the Smartmatic uh, Auditable Election System, and also based on meetings with Smartmatic, the Technical Evaluation Committee, uh, COMELEC, and the COMELEC Advisory Council, as well as uh, on uh, consultations with um, Filipino IT professionals. Uh, the study uh, is under the UP College of Law 